Well, there was an interesting benchmark in the so-called war on drugs late last week. For the first time in four decades, pollsters at Pew found that a slight majority of Americans favor the legalization of marijuana. But while some states are loosening age-old drug laws, others are cracking down with mandatory random drug tests for kids as young as 12. Tonight, we visit two middle schools where policies aimed at keeping adults in the know have opened a sharp debate. We're joined now by former Olympian and special Nightline correspondent, Julie Fatty. I haven't played since high school. This is so exciting. It takes more than a quick serve or even Olympic credentials to make this team. Nice. Before becoming a lady Spartan, each of these 12 and 13 year olds must first pass a test they all say is a little embarrassing. It's, it's disgusting. Like, it's, it's kind awkward. of weird because yeah. they tell you to go to the restroom and then like you come out with a cup and it's just like, really awkward because there's other people yeah, there's, standing there. Yeah. At Pleasant Middle School, drug testing is mandatory. And not just for sports, for any school activity. Principal Lane Warner says the random tests are keeping this school in Marion, Ohio, drug free. What we're testing for are common street drugs. What's that feeling when Mr. Warner walks in and calls out your name for the random drug test? Well, he doesn't tell he you. Doesn't he tell you. just calls your name so you get so scared that you're in trouble. He doesn't yeah. tell you it's a drug test. Uh, so you start freaking yeah, out. Yeah, I get scared. Yeah. I'm like, okay, what have I done that I could get in trouble for? Yeah, like, <laughs> it's violating your rights. Like, that's a big deal. But when Alexis Keeter was told she needed a drug test to join the scrapbooking club, her parents said no way. They took the school in Milford, Pennsylvania to court. I mean, that was hard. It was difficult not being able to play with some of the girls I had been playing with for years. Alexis and her younger sister Megan were forced to sit out all activities. Even if it meant the girls not being able to play sports. Right, even if it meant they had to sacrifice their sports and clubs that they love so much. I get that it's easy to pee in a cup, but Giving up your constitutional rights just because you can doesn't mean you should. It's a decision faced by parents across the country as random drug testing, once reserved for Olympic college and high school athletes, becomes a fact of life for kids in their early teens, even preteens. Today, school districts in at least nine states require it from their middle schoolers. I would argue, as, as a school administrator who sees these kids day after day, it, it's helpful for them to have a reason to say no. You still behaving? Okay. Back at Pleasant Middle School, Principal Lane Warner isn't just worried about getting students to class on time. His bigger concern, the stories he's heard about what some kids this age are bringing to school. Little things that they hide drugs in, um, they carry around with them that, that look like it looks like a, a normal highlighter. You know, it's very eye-opening. How easy is it for a 13, 14-year-old? I would love to say, boy, that's a that's something that the kids around here, they just really have to work hard to, to do. But Heroin is, is making a, a big comeback. It's, it's uh, becoming more really? popular and it's uh, pretty accessible. But Warner says random testing is working. He says in six years, there's been just one positive test here. Are you testing the right kids because you're getting the student athletes? Really, shouldn't the schools be testing the outliers, the kids that aren't necessarily in that structured type of environment? Does that mean that, that every kid's identified or every kid is, is or kids are getting away with it? I, I don't think it means that. I think that means that um, in large part it's effective. But even though the U.S. Supreme Court ruled random drug testing for high school athletes is constitutional, the Keters won an injunction, preventing their school from enforcing the policy. It means the girls can play again, while the issue is settled in Pennsylvania Supreme Court. Is that you? Yeah, Are you one of the tallest me. as a freshman? Look at you, I love that. I, over the years, had to pee in many cups, <laughs> right through Olympics and World Cups, and we understood we weren't the ones necessarily cheating, but the argument of maybe it's for the greater good. Clubs and after school activities are normally a way for kids to not be involved in drugs. Throwing up the barrier of having to be drug tested for it might prevent those kids from even trying out. But back on the volleyball court, a different take from the Lady Spartans. So overall, you guys think it's a good thing? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. I think it's yeah. I think it's helping stop it. Because you know. they know they're not gonna be eligible for sports. sports. One, two, three, together! Oh you go up.
random drug tests, a rite of passage for Olympians, professionals, and now even America's youngest athletes. For Nightline, I'm Julie Foudy in Marion, Ohio.